Oh, fucking oh. brutal. Oh. Fold him in half. Oh, god damn. Welcome back to On the Shelf Gaming. The <laughs> only place on the internet where you can see utter brutality like that. That's not true. Don't go looking for that kind of stuff on the internet. It will fuck you up. Yeah, no, there is. I've seen some <laughs> shit. I've seen men die. I've seen, I've seen so many men die. And I have had no right to see them die. Yeah, no. But did you have the want to see them die? No, I just had the Twitter account that had the fucking unregulated timeline. That to is show me fair. them dying. Yeah, no, I I am good. Like I know that people die. It's a thing that happens. I don't need to see all the gory details. Right. And it's like when I was in I don't know middle school or early high school something, and like all the super fucked up. Fucking pornographic, but not really. It's really just like gore porn mm -hmm. shit. Was not. It wasn't mainstream, but it was being sent around by a bunch of people. Right. And like, so everybody had at least heard of it. And it's like, damn. I didn't see any of that stuff then, and I don't ever intend on changing it. I know. And like, I had luck out, because like, despite having like an unregulated uh, Twitter. Uh, timeline where like just anything can happen across uh, I'm usually pretty lucky and I'll see warnings for shit without ever actually seeing shit like recently there was a video going around like hey if you see a video that opens up on like a red blender click off of it the dude's about to blend a kitten Jesus Christ I know and I'm like I never saw that video thank god I never went looking for it but like I'm like, I, I'm lucky in that I'll see the warnings that these videos are at large before I ever even come close to seeing these videos. Yeah, I just... Wouldn't have I, it any other fucking way. I don't know, because I... Fucking, come on. I've seen stuff that's messed up, but, like, not nearly the most messed up stuff on the internet. Oh, yeah. The, the, dark, web it, is, the dark web exists. Yeah, and it's like, Jesus Christ... Because, like, the, the worst thing that I can think of that I've seen right offhand, I, of course, saw while I was in high school in a school classroom where they just uh, were able to get onto some fucking website. Uh, and it was a video that's technically educational, I guess, literally, because it's, like, from a documentary, but it's from a documentary that no one should watch. Mm. Because it's talking about... I forget where they were. Um, but... They were in some place... Where they were they were using dogs for leather. And to make it easier to separate the skin from the rest of the dog. Mm. They were doing it while the dogs were still alive. Right, as, as you do. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, yeah, sure, it's easier... How do you do that and still go <laughs> home and sleep at night? I know. It's... People are fucking awful. And then they don't even kill the dogs afterwards. It's like you just tortured the dogs. And then you just throw them off to the side. The so they wait out. to die. It's like, Jesus Christ. No, nah, no. I... Ugh. Uh... Content warning. Don't watch that last part that we just had. If you... <laughs> if you don't want to hear bad stuff like that. <laughs> Oops. But no, it's like, the, there's just so, so many horrible, terrible things. Hell yeah, you can just destroy those now. Thank Hell God. Yeah. So yes, we could theoretically go back into that cavern now. Right. And, and do it if we ever get back that way for some reason. Right. But no, I, I had a, I had a teacher when I was in eighth grade. Well, I didn't have the teacher. Um, I never took his class, but I had a couple friends who took his class. Um, and he was like the, he was like the, the computer teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, and like he taught like Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, and I, this is all hearsay. I never took the class, so I can't ver verify if this is true. But enough of my friends told me that it happened that I'm like kind of inclined to believe them. Where every year at the beginning of the class, this guy would just show them how to get on the dark web just to be like, okay. So since I know you're all going to hear about the dark web, let me show you how to get on it now and navigate it safely before you all get yourselves fucking killed. 
And it was it was like under the promise that like you're never gonna fucking go on it. If you're gonna go on the if you think you're gonna go on the dark web, get out of this room right now so I can't be held responsible for teaching you how to do it. <laughs> then he would wait. It's like okay, so everyone's still in this room. If you die, it's not my fault. <laughs> fucking get back here. Yeah. Die. It's just because it's like the internet is so big, right? Right. And and I'm not talking about like the full internet, just the part that normal everyday people like you and I use. Right. Fucking huge. And then there's the deep web, which is everything that you can't easily get to, which is most of the internet. Yeah. And then there's the dark web, where all the really fucked up stuff is. Right. It is like its own subsection. Of the deep web. And it's like, man, why did we ever even need to come up with that? I mean, it was, obviously, it's not like everybody did that together. Yeah, that was it, a, whoops. There, there were specific people who were specifically fucked up. We need this who service. Who were like, oh, yeah, we need the dark web to exist. Fucking rip you in half. Brutal. Woo! I don't know. The the internet is bad enough just on the standard internet. Right. I couldn't imagine purposefully going out of my way to go to the deep web where everything is presumably basically the same kinds of stuff just disconnected from the main uh the main section of the internet. Right. Should I bother putting any Primal Rage stuff in, or should I just save it for this last perk here? Uh, I mean, you haven't been using Primal Rage. Yeah, that's fair. Besides, I just did, it was an accident. But no, it's, it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up to know that someone could be watching our video right now, and we just say something, maybe about the dark web, that they don't appreciate, and so then they go on the dark web and hire a hitman to come kill us. <laughs> Yeah. Like, the fact that that's just something someone can do on the internet with, like, minimal effort. It's not hard to get onto the dark web, per se. I don't know. Have you ever been on the dark web? No. Good. Keep. You should really <laughs> try to keep it that way. Yeah. No, I, I've never even... Because, like, most standard browsers won't even let you, like go out of the standard internet right. even if you try to right it really wants and, to keep you out of the deep and dark web yeah and so like i never even i never even considered downloading a browser that would let me go just explore around the other 98 percent of the internet or whatever it is i don't right. actually have an idea let's see let's google real quick just because i'm curious now <laughs> how much of the internet well, that's not exactly what I want. I don't want the, the deep web. Here we go. Approximately 90% of all websites are on the deep web. Mm -hmm. No one really knows the size of the dark web, but most estimates put it at around 5% of the total internet. Right. So that's insane. That's just that's just so ominous that that exists. <laughs> that there's just like an uncharted, like a, like a fucking deep, like, an, like the bottom of the ocean of the internet. Yeah. It, it exists, and it's just so weird. It's, it's, I don't like it. Yeah, and also the dark web is like, based on those numbers, it's roughly half the size of the standard internet that you and I use. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fucking, it's scary. It's, it's a scary, scary thing that just exists. It And is. we all have to kind of just be cool with the fact that it exists. We should leave the internet forever. <laughs> it's the only the safe internet way. is too dangerous. Uh, if you want to continue to catch on the shelf gaming, don't worry, it's not going away. You will need to come and stand outside of my house. Yeah. Uh, but I have blackout curtains, so you're going to need some way to see through those. Um, yeah. Maybe it'll be safer to just be on the internet, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fuck. I don't know how on the shelf gaming is going to work. I'm sure the crowds packing in outside my house would draw the wrong kind of attention. I, so. I really don't want to jump down here. Do it. Well, Jump that's down. not the right way. All it's right, the well, right all way. The, well, all the chickens are here now, so. Hell yeah. We always go the right way. 
No one has ever walked the wrong direction seeing we haven't been here because there's an uneaten flower. Yeah, they got me there. I do eat these flowers pretty much every chance I get. Very wasteful of me. Uh, I mean, it keeps your health topped off. Yeah. Excuse me, gentlemen. You have a chance seeing a, a boss around here. <laughs> like the final boss of the area. What do you mean? Like, we, we got our boss, Charlie. Like, he, he's sort of in charge, kind of, but not really. Was he, like, bigger than you? He's like, no, he's about as big as me. He just, you know, he went to school a couple of years younger, longer than I did. I'm not, I'm not really looking for Charlie. Yeah, I, I, I think... <laughs> I think you and I have different definitions of what exactly constitutes a boss. You over there, do you have? Do you know where the boss is? Like, oh yeah, my boss, uh, he's in his office. It, is it like really big? Oh no, it's super small. He's only like a foot tall. Uh, yeah, that, you, you're not our guy. Uh, has anybody seen a really, really large animal? I did. <laughs> uh, where is he? Uh, he's right in front of me <laughs> right now. His points. <laughs> It's like, all right, I, I don't think, I don't think there's anything else to be gained from this conversation. I'm just gonna go ahead and head out. Hey, man, you're asking questions. Like, I'm just you giving you, I'm telling you what you want to know. If you don't get the answers you want, that's not my fault. Oh yeah, he's right behind here, isn't he? No, oh, there's another one over there. I bet it's right behind that one. It is for certain. Bam! I like how punching it does nothing. Headbutting it? That's the way to go. Woo! A ceremonial set! I've been looking for that forever! A set of what? Eh. <laughs> oh, wait, is there still something there? No. It was just brush. I don't know, bro. Like, growing glean. Glowing green. I didn't see nothing glowing green. That's because you're fucking blind. Okay, fun. Smart guy, I'll go back and... <laughs> You'll just show me exactly where this glowing green thing is. It was exactly where we picked up the other stuff. Oh, so nothing there. There's no glowing green shit here. Where is it? Oh, what the fuck is that? I thought you said, where is it, after it was already on screen. Well, there ain't nothing here now. <laughs> Look, smart guy. I don't fucking hassle you when you're playing any Asha or... Whatever else we're playing on the show, I forget. Uh, nothing right now. <laughs> yeah, let's say this is Just it. Kong and Inuyasha. The two ultimate complimentary series that everyone loves. Hell yeah, and then there's whatever you and Kranz are doing. Uh, playing Wind Waker and Mario RPG. You still playing Wind Waker? Goddamn. Finish yeah. that game already. Wind, Isn't Wa like Wind Waker is a little longer than Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Well, sure, but like now we're like 20 episodes into Inuyasha, and I don't know, this is like episode 8 of Kong or something? Uh, yeah, something like that, probably. I'm just saying, bro. Pick it up. Get to that fucking water temple. Where? <laughs> it, it's Wind Waker. It doesn't have a water temple. I thought all Zeldas had water temples, and that was like no. the joke. No, Wind Waker. I mean, it sort of kind of does, but not really. And it's explicitly not called the Water Temple. Is it called the Not Water Temple? <laughs> no. No, it is not. The Sea Water Temple? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're almost done with Wind Waker. Oh, good. Like, there's, there's probably like one, maybe two more sessions of Wind Waker left. Oh, well, good. So. And then you're playing Mario, and then what? Get, get the people a preview, Eric. What's next on the docket for old Eric and Crandon? Uh, it sounds like, from what Crandon's saying, it's probably going to be Super Mario Sunshine. Hey, interesting. We're really just doling out all the Nintendo classics, like, right at the beginning. Leave you guys really scrambling in year two. I, it really won't. There are a <laughs> shit ton of Nintendo classics. <laughs> oh, I'm intimidated. I am terrified. Okay, now I feel better. Yeah. Those guys aren't scary. Only the scary guy was scary, so. Also, these guys are all way smaller than they looked in that cutscene. Yeah, I, I really wouldn't have been like, yeah, fucking get him, big bro Jack! It's like, oh, don't worry, I'm gonna destroy that guy! As we're, like, still three miles away. <laughs> so we look like look we're how their small size of them. He is. We just keep getting closer, and we just keep getting bigger and bigger. 
I'm like, uh, Jack, maybe when she was like, oh no, it's fine, it's just a trick of perspective. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he looks like he's the same size as me, but he's not actually. And then we, it's still, it takes like 15 more minutes for us to get here, just running straight at them. Just getting, <laughs> just getting larger all the time. Finally, we do show up. We're like 10 times bigger than them. And they just fall over dead all on their own. I would. Speaking of falling over dead all on their own, they keep wanting to like run past the fucking barrier. I also noticed that. Hey! Fuck back here! I mean, if he's just giving up, like, that's fine by me. Yeah, fine, but I need to come give up or I can still smash you. Thank you. Did they, did they break? When they did whatever they did, I guess, that fixed other stuff, did they break all the enemies? So they now, were... now they just keep ending up on the wrong side of the barrier? I somehow feel like this was already an issue. Probably. It didn't really come into play for us, but everybody was spawning directly in the center of these combat encounters. Right. Alright, well, I don't see anybody else behind the barrier. Probably over here. Oh, yeah, I hear the guy. Let's see, I, I see the guy, but I hear the guy. Uh, I was about to say, there he is. Can I, like, break these flowers? Yes. Oh, okay, easy. For all the good that does, they fucking... You literally, you can't even look at them before they've already launched an attack. Right. Alright. I guess you can throw rocks at them. Of course, not that particular one. Since it was located on top of some rocks, you liable to not notice it was there until it was too late. Right. If you could even land a rock on it. And it's not like the rock aiming in this is so fucking well done. Oh, I know. There's nobody out there, I bro. know. Well, but there's nobody in here either. <laughs> this is worse than the last time. Oh, that it's in the brush? Uh, oh, there they are. They weren't just hiding in the brush. Fucking coward. I mean, I don't blame them. That's what I would do. Get fucked. Hell yeah, three skill points. We're stuck. Yeah, we are. Let me out. Get me out of the brush. Oh, it's all good, bro. You don't even need to worry. Everything is great. Nothing bad ever happens to King Kong. Well, except for missing that jump, but that's fine. Well, Happens to everybody sometimes. I'm like, we can get up there unless we get our fucking our the, aiming jump. I know. There's a there's been a bunch of that, and I'm sure based on how we've gotten our other skills back, it's probably coming anytime. It's like, man, I don't want to go through three or four full chapters worth of stuff just to jump up ledges. I know. It's like, god damn it. It's like they're acting like this is a Metroidvania. <laughs> oh god, what if it was supposed to be? <laughs> Like, what if it really was, like, that was the idea. It's like, yeah, we're going to do, like, a Metroidvania Kong game. Duh, God. And we're I mean, seeing the though, unpolished version of that. Honestly, though, when you when you play this game, does it just not feel like the Super Metroid of Kong games? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It makes me really curious to, like, play the fucking, like, Peter Jackson uh, Kong game from, like, 2005. I feel that. Because I'm like, damn, I feel like... If I've gone through, if I sat through this one, I gotta sit through like every single King <laughs> Kong video game there is, right? Like it's only fair. Is it? Is yeah. that fair to anybody? It's like our birthright, like or like our <laughs> job almost. It, like it was definitely guys. It's definitely not our job. I don't know. All I'm saying is I've never ever seen any other like let's play, like full length let's play of Kong. I've seen like you know just the obligatory like walkthroughs or like all the bosses. I've never seen a Let's Play channel really sit down and I, be like, alright, 90 episodes of Kong, <laughs> here they come. I'm sure plenty of people released full-length Let's Plays of Kong. Well, I've never seen them, so as far as <laughs> I'm concerned, we're the only ones. <laughs> you don't even watch Let's Plays! Yeah? Nobody watches Let's Plays anymore. If you're out there watching, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You're, you're, uh, a, real, you're, a, real, you're a real one for that. Yeah, because uh, Let's Plays... 
I was going to say they're dying, but they're not. They're probably, just like every other year, even more popular than they've ever been as far as, like, being made. Oh, yeah. But they're not the dominant force on YouTube anymore as oh, far yeah. as, like, the content coming out. Well, like, we probably still wouldn't even do a Let's Play. Because, like, what we what we try to do is we try to make, like, full, like, full-length scripted stuff for the most part for the past few years. But it's hard to do that, and Eric and I are bad at committing to shit. Yeah, uh, true that. So it got to the point where it's like, fuck, well, we just want to make shit... And Crandon keeps bringing up the idea of, like, bringing back on the shelf gaming. So, fuck it. We just do Let's Plays again now. Hell yeah! Which, I mean, is fine. Because, like, I enjoy making Let's yeah, Plays. Yeah, it's fun. Like, it's But it's just not... It's fun to do, but it's just not the thing I want to make, you know? Right. My artistic integrity is being destroyed by making Let's Plays. Let's fuck him up! Ruin his day! Oh, I thought he was the guy at first. No, the, that, the guy's, like, guy. big and red. Uh oh. Ah, shittle sticks. We're in the wrong part of town, Eric. <laughs> it's fine. We got a belly button and they don't. We do. Oh. Oh, God. This is like his fucking gang. <laughs> oh, God. Even really little ones. I don't know if I'd throw the, like, child homies out. Ah, shittle sticks. We got no fucking damage on the guy before Beta came out. You're supposed to wait until the first guy is like... Basically dead. Yeah. And then the third guy comes out when you're basically dead. Oh, Jesus. He fucking came out of nowhere. He did. He also took a shit ton of damage from that rock. Wait, Primal Rage. I'm going ghost. <laughs> Let's fucking destroy these guys! Oh, thank God! It's uh, Omega. I was waiting to see if he was gonna be Gamma or Omega. <laughs> I know. How much must it suck to be Beta, right? Oh yeah. Cause like Alpha, he's the beginning. Omega, he's the end. Beta, he's the cuck. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, he's like the biggest and strongest. He just doesn't have the fucking claws. <laughs> God. Oh, he's got claws. Never mind. Uh, what he doesn't have is the ability to take a punch, because every single thing you do to him ruins him. Myrtleizes his fucking health bar. He is crying in a corner right now. Primal Rage! Grrr. We gotta finish off Beta quick. Yeah, you roll into him and it does like a full 10% of his total health bar. Ah, uh, but you're so close to dying. Are there flowers? Nope. God damn it, Kong! Why Kong? No good game design. And by good game design, I mean game design where we Black live. Flower. Oh, thank Christ! All right, well, that admittedly that that didn't help quite as much as I was hoping. I mean, I know they do the same amount every time, but I was expecting to do a little more than they actually do. No, oh, I know. God, Omega is not shit. He can't do nothing. Why are you fucking flailing over there? I'm over here, bastard. <laughs> you wanted this battle. You started. They drew first blood. This is for mommy and daddy Kong. <laughs> Primal rage. Wait, you know mommy and daddy Kong? We went to high school together. Oh, really? Yeah, we were like total bros. What are they doing these days? Like, oh, they've been dead for a they've long time. They've been super dead for a while. Your boss killed them. Damn, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, you want me to help you take him out? It's like, no, actually, I kind of have a racist thing against dinosaurs now, so I'm going to kill you, but <laughs> I appreciate the offer. You know, if you weren't a dirty dinosaur, like, I'd be all over that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fuck them up. How embarrassing to be dinosaur kind right now. Oh, I know. Oh, they're oh, still, still alive. alive. Oh god, drama. Uh oh, we are. 
Should have stayed are, down, Beta. Yeah, we are repressing that trauma right now. <laughs> Nine Scott skill point. Oh, damn. we got the leap. Fuck yes. Thank Christ. Oh, I know. Oh, it actually shows where we are now. Oh, what? Dude, there must have been an update or some shit. Yeah. Not only does it show, I don't... Because in in the the first level, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But I swear it wasn't, like, color-coded. It was not. It was all gray. Eric, <laughs> throw it up. Future Eric, throw up the, <laughs> the map from the first episode to this map now and just see the difference. Yeah, we had no idea where we were, where we were going. The only things you could see, if you hadn't been there, it was completely grayed out. If you had been there, it was, like, tan. Easier to land. I'm not. Ah, uh, so it like hurts enemies when we when we leap. I don't feel like we're gonna be using our leap in combat very much. No, probably not. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna even save some skill points. Yeah. All right, now just to remember what button it is. Uh, I believe it's L two and an A. Yes! All right! Thank the Lordy, Lordy, hallelujah, amen! Fucking and we're a gonna healing be... flower, we're great. Hell yeah, we're gonna be jumping for the stars next time! Boom! On the Shelf Gaming! Hell yeah, bro. It It's not going away. Yeah? It is still on the screen. Yeah? We're leaving. And it's just like, yeah... Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta see if it's still there when we go through the portal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta know. The morbid curiosity. Oh god, what if it's just sitting on top of the load screen? Oh, it's sitting on top of a cutscene! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, Kong, never change. You know, Thank God that update improved the game so much. <laughs> Could you imagine playing the game with a bunch of flaws? God. Oh, this is like a legit cutscene too. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby! Oh, so they literally are just like the guys in charge. Yeah. Time went by. And the island started to notice the danger that Kong represented. They had a meeting. So we're literally killing everyone in charge here just because we're mad at someone who's completely unrelated. Yeah. Also, he unlocked his leap skill and had nine <laughs> skill points to spend. Alright, there it's gone. Alright. And it'll stay gone next, next time, time on the Joe Gaming. Gaming.